Howdy folks, Justin here. We are going to hop onto the ladder. Day two of our monk deck, which we've named Celine's first deck. Uh, originally I was going to misspell some things in the name because, you know, cats aren't great spellers. But then I thought, you know what, Celine's had a good education. She's a good cat. Uh, I'm not going to do her dirty like that. So, deck list is on the left. It's the same as it was yesterday. I mean, I, I really wish I could fit... Um, East March Crusader in there, but uh, I didn't want to make any changes yet. I played two games um, with the deck after I finished recording yesterday, so we're now 4 0, and it is time for a loss. Playing against Val Red, playing Scout. Okay, let's see what happens here. Well, we have our combo here, but since they all cost four, we're actually throwing all these back. Oh man, our hand actually got worse. Okay, well. Like I said, it's time for a loss, so let's uh, let's make that a reality. Oh, I forgot Hafinger Marauder was in here. I have not actually drawn that card in the four games I've played so far. Yeah, there's no way we win this game, all right? <laughs> this is going to be a complete disaster. Our first play is going to be Thieves' Den. I guess followed by Cliff Racer, it's not all bad, but it is not good either. So Thieves Den into Cliff Racer into Marauder, I guess. Let's do this. Let's see what happens here. We don't have any prophecy creatures. I think the only prophecy card well, I guess we have the Daring Cut first, so we could get that off of a prophecy. I do love a good fight. Yeah, keep at it, buddy. Alright. So here comes our Cliff Racer. Get that bad boy up to a 5-5. Five, five. And then next turn, I mean, we can go Golden Saint, maybe. Or Descendant. Or Bur Burglar. Or Marauder. Confound what the hey? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Your coin or yeah, your let's, just, let's just go all in. <clears throat> this is an interesting one, though. Lurking mummy. I saw that the other day. Very surprising. Um, so we can trigger Marauder twice. That seems pretty exciting. Alright. Well, hopefully he can't answer that, but he probably can, unfortunately. Okay, so we're getting some great big old critters here. Just gonna take a little bit of, uh, I mean, he can remove both of these, you know, if he uh, attacks that into there, Leaf Lurkers, and attacks both of those into there. But, seems alright. Obviously, uh, Master of Thieves, absolutely insane draw. I'd still, I'd put our odds at winning this game at very low. <laughs> still, we do have an 11-11 Pterodactyl. That's, that's got to count for something. Halfing Marauder, Halfinger Marauder, you uh, did as well. Although I guess I would have appreciated uh, maybe a Shackle, a Shackle Mace, Mace of Encumbrance. Try to lock that thing down. Dune Smuggler. I mean, we can do some tricky things like slam that into that if we want to. Come dance with okay. Alright, so he's got the feed Leaf Lurker then. He must have the Leaf Lurker. Nice. I'm sorry if you hear that howling. That's uh, the cat um, upstairs just going bonkers. I apologize about that. You know, the, the cat knows what we're trying to do here. And he's trying to help us respect the, uh, the cat legacy. Okay, so my opponent's just going to try to kill me next turn, maybe? Okay, that's only 17 damage. That is, that is really sad. But you know what? I I feel like we gotta go for it. No. For the sky at him. Hmm. Let's see what happens. That seems pretty good. You have been warned. For the sky at him. 
Guard's gotta be pretty good. I just want a shackle face, Drain. Alright. Let's see what happens here. Our opponent is at one. <laughs> I do like our 1713 breakthrough ward. Insane pterodactyl. Okay, what's the plan here? Actually, you know, a guard on this might be what, what seals it. And with breakthrough on this bad boy, it's going to take more than just a guard creature to keep us from pu pushing the damage through. Our opponent's thinking it through, though. I mean, they very well could have a way out of this. Um, if this hit a red Brahmin, and they have it discounted down to 7, they could finish us off that way. Well, not finish us off, but probably win the game by locking down this lane and quieting everybody up. It would leave uh, another Cliff Racer as a, as a winning draw. But Jen, no one so far seems to know how to respond to the all-in Pilfer deck. <laughs> the battle is yours. Alright. Cool, so that is another victory. That's 5-0 and oh with the Monk deck. The uh, Selene's first deck. Hey, Selene. Welcome back. Alright, so we're just a few wins away from hitting Legend. Um, how long was that game? That game, that's a six minute video. Let's play another one. <laughs> Alright, taking Selene's first deck in for our sixth game. See what we can do. <clears throat> I'm hesitant to make any changes. Cards I want to uh, check out because uh, people have mentioned them are... Uh, Tenmar... The 2-2 two, two for 4 that can attack twice has... Pilfer plus one plus one. Um, Torval Crook got a lot of comment, comments on Reddit and on, uh, you know, that uh, suggested it might be something to look into. Another scout match, okay. Um, we don't got time for you, Marauder. Marauder, by the way, great first showing. Okay, another really, really awkward hand here. The Night Mother will guide us. This might be the one that does us in. Okay. I mean, you know, starting turn four, we can curve out a little bit, but till then, it's not looking not looking fantastic, is it? If I fall, no. the hist will reclaim me. Okay. Well, this leaves our descendant of Alkosh. The descendant of Alkosh, by the way, is going into the shadow lane because there is the potential of a moonlight, uh, not moonlight, um, giant bat. Charged out into this lane. My okay, black sap protector. So we'd love a lane change effect right now. Um, yeah, I'll take a brotherhood assassin. I lurk in the and then a lane change card. Wait. Our master of thieves. A little disappointing. Master of thieves, not the ideal four drop. Uh, when you have. Oh, I was waiting. No pill for creatures on board. We might be able to just win some sort of value game here, though. We know. So another question is, I feel like we have to lay down the Master of Thieves. And we are going to contest this. This might be the beginning of the end for us, though. Playing into his hand of uh, letting him get his big critters off. Yeah, Thorn Hist Mage, okay. So another Master of Thieves and Descendant of Alkosh, probably, right? So, insane draw in Thieves, uh, Thieves' Den. Completely bonkers draw. I expect to see either a Crushing Blow or a Leaf Lurker here. So we're not going to get as much value as we like. But we should still... Well, we might still be able to trigger Golden Saint, depending on what he does here. Which would be pretty nice. The Hist provides. Okay, another Thorn Hist Mage. And a shadow shift. Okay. Well, um, man, no good plays here, huh? I mean, we can smuggle this out and attack twice. You know what I like, though? Well, how good is this? 
we're behind on life, so we're not triggering Golden Saint. If we attack here, and then attack in with that, I mean, that just doesn't look good either. How much value is there in attacking with this twice? Is it enough to leave things like this over there? Hmm. I wish we had one more Magicka. This doesn't look like one we're winning, though. Three, three or four, four guard creatures already, and not enough lane-changing shenanigans to get through them all. Your coin. Let's just invest in this. We got a lot of burst down here, so. You have been warned. You have been warned. Okay. And we will go ahead and make that move there. Just that he doesn't get the ability to keep it alive. The waters of life. Okay, tree minder. Hist grove. Well, that's not so bad. Okay, um, so we're not... You, have been warned. you know what I actually like doing is this. You have been warned. Okay. Two Master of Thieves down means that we're not likely to get any sort of fancy double attack shenanigans going. The forest is my There's a Leaf Lurker. Another Hist Grove. So we're definitely on a clock. Snake, Tooth, Necklace. So we get a Prophecy. There's Thieves then, but that's not going to be enough to pull us back from this. Looks like... Oh, and that's not even enough there, is it? Can we just race him? We can't trigger Golden Saint. If we put... Th uh, does this already have Drain? No, Lethal, Regenerate, and Ward. Of course I'm on your side. We're out. You have been warned. We're out. Okay. I know he's coming at me for 10 this turn, but we got a lot of damage here. Now you will see Blood Magic Lord probably gonna make our day a lot worse. Um, the plus one attack there means that not even a, uh, is he going to shackle our lane? Yeah, okay. Well, this game's probably over, unfortunately. Thieves' End's not going to do it. I lurk in the shadows, waiting. Okay, Fighters Guild Recruit is pretty good. If I fall, the hist will be. Um Okay. Do we have a chance of survival? We probably don't, but I I feel like we gave it our best shot here. Moving shadow. Got a Murkwater witch for this thing. Crushing blow. Okay. Well. I would protect the hist. The waters of life. Yeah. Hitting on all cylinders there. sense we know well congratulations on your on your win Zolacerata Serta our first loss with the scout deck um, you know I feel like we did the best we could no coming back from that okay 
Well, let's play one more game real fast. Um, hopefully fast, because I feel like the longer they go, the worse they are from us. But, you know, even with an awful starting hand like we had there, I think we did. We were pretty competitive most of that game. And uh, just weren't able to make it back. So, let's try again. Playing against Minus Seek, or Dash Seek. Got a brand new tattoo today. Um, can't really see it right now. It's on my forearm. Um, the picture. Well, I'll post pictures of it on uh, my girlfriend's Instagram page. The link to which is in the description of every video. So please check that out. Those will be up soon. Or check that out if you'd like, I suppose. Um, against Assassin, I kind of like Riverhold Escort. Fighters Guild Recruit should be pretty good, and a Descendant of Alkosh to kick things off. Um, we'll start over here. The moons give this one strength. Back it up with the Fighters Guild Recruit, potentially. Or he might just have the Firebolt. Okay, Goblin Skulk. Alright. Well, let's, um... I feel like he probably would have answered that if he could have, so... Let's lay down that bad boy. Hopefully that doesn't get guard. And, uh, go to town like that. See if we can't make this happen. I think this is the first assassin we've played on camera. I did p play one yesterday. Came out on top. Shall we begin? Crystal Tower Crafter. Gonna give that thing a ward. No. Okay. Um. You have been warned. Yeah, I like Riverhold Who Escort here. Keep him from making any headway here. Another two drop next turn to combo with Fifth Legion Trainer would be the best draw. Um, I, I wouldn't mind a uh, Thieves' Den either. And you know, my mulliganing could you probably use some work in this this uh, this deck too, because it's not clear to me that I should be mulliganing Master of Thieves ever, because it's such an integral part to what I'm trying to do. So maybe that card is just an auto keep. Um, and I should play this more like a combo deck and less like an aggro deck. Well, that's something we'll pick up as we go. Okay, opponent slow rolling. Or did we disconnect? Uh, no, they just emoted. Okay, cool. Um, am I missing something, or are we, uh... Let's see, we're still recording, we're connected to the internet, he's got slaughterfish spawning. There's more to come. Okay. Cliff Racer, not really what we want to see right now. We'll play this over here to contest that. Um... Training is over. Not it's time to act. You have been warned. I think we're going to try to keep the ward on there. Give a breakthrough. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of damage right here. He might uh, firebolt, I'm sorry, swing in and then lightning bolt that to remove that, which would be pretty bad for us. We do have a Nasi for next turn, although he doesn't have anything on board with keywords we really want to steal. Okay, given that thing ward, alright. Um, if he gives something ward post combat, that'd be pretty great for us. There's an elusive schemer. There's more to come. And he's going in, it looks like. Okay. Hmm. You have been warned. Okay. Alright. I like that. Should be pretty difficult for him to remove our descendant of Alkosh now that it's a 5 toughness. Ooh, he's got the shadow shift to trade into it. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. You got a uh, ward for it as well. Oh, we got an ice spike. So he's... Sorry about the cat crying again, guys. Right, I don't know what's going on with that. 
There's no Okay. Yeah, he can definitely do that. Um Hmm. Think he's got the lightning bolt for our Quinwall burglar? Probably, right? That'll take up most of his turn though. Kajit will find a way in. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I haven't had a chance to actually hit anybody in the face with a Quinrel burglar yet. Okay, shrieking harpies are. Daggerfall mage. Oh man, a nasty is a is not a good combo with Daggerfall mage. Um. So I can piercing javelin and then mournhold traitor. That doesn't seem good. Alright, not not looking great right now, that's for sure. Um, if both those guys survive and we draw a Master of Thieves, we can have a, a crazy turn next turn. But that doesn't seem likely. <laughs> that seems pretty risky. Seems risky. Uh huh. My sword is yours. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Gonna give us a card here. There's more to come. That's, that's interesting. Um. See what happens. Let's just go greedy. Didn't see this coming, eh? That puts a lot of damage on the board. Um, you know, if he trades into the Mournhold Trader. Not great. We can steal the guard away with a Nasi from the guard creature. I mean, he might have a flurry of spells though too, and just kill us. So, there's a tome of alteration. Hopefully, just digging for answers. Snake tooth necklace. Why is everybody running this card? Well, we can steal Drain, although that's not very exciting. Hmm. There's more to come. <laughs> if I fall, the hiss will reclaim me. So, Master of Thieves would give us 16 damage. But otherwise, it's not looking good. 12. 16. Didn't see this coming, eh? Alright. Well, that's why you run that's why you run the pterodactyl, huh? Okay, so we are five and one with the Celine's first deck, Monk Pilfer deck. Thank you very much. I apologize. If you're watching this video, I apologize about not emoting back to you. I started on my uh, my wrap-up speech a little too quickly there. So, Pilfer Week will continue tomorrow. Um, like I said, I got a new tattoo, a big one today, so I look forward to... Uh, I didn't have to work today, so I wanted to take advantage of it. Went out to uh, the Spicy Basil, one of my favorite places in Denver. Um, had a great morning. And, uh, yeah... Really excited about the way this monk deck's been going. Um, we'll take a quick look at my record with it. And it looks pretty exciting, right? So it looks like we've beat Assassin twice, Archer once, Mon uh, Scout three times, and Lost once to Scout. So, ooh, and we're up to 92%. I wonder what card I got. 
Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be back tomorrow for more Pilfer Monk action. Uh, we may start making changes to the deck, although, I mean, it's one of those things, like, it's not, it doesn't seem broken, right? Although, East March Crusader seems like you have, to, you know, a card you have to run in a deck like this. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed uh, all the feedback I got on the last video, and uh, as you noticed, I'm back to responding to the comments, and I will be continuing to do that. Have a great afternoon.